This past Saturday featured a fun-filled day of activities in Hopkinton. To start off the day, the 44th annual Poly Arts Festival took place at the Hopkinton Town Common, and they also held the official closing of Center School. Former students of Center School had the opportunity to have one last look before the official closing. Well, uh, can you talk about why uh, you're here in Center School today? Well, it's um, a, a lot of memories, yeah. yes, from being back. I don't, didn't realize how much I remembered until I was back, but it's kind of sad, you know, place I went to school no longer, nobody else will go there, so, yeah. Yeah. Um. All right, and uh, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> what, what kind of thoughts are uh, running through your head just uh, looking around, seeing like nothing in the classrooms or anything like that? It's like crazy, like we haven't been here in like, eight years and it's just kind of weird to see where we started and now where we are. And yeah. how, uh, how low everything is. <laughs> we were really short. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, how long did you all uh, go to center school for? Um, I was here both kindergarten and first grade. Me too. I was just here for the end of first grade. Uh, first off, can you talk about why you're at center school today? Just for old memory's sake. And uh, what years did you go to center school? Probably 1952 right up to graduating from high school, 1968. And what's it like for you to see the school like this today? It's, it's creepy, that's all. Creepy. <laughs> I couldn't tell you which, which classroom was mine, but it's, to me it's, it's old memories. That's good memories. <laughs> Alright, so uh, can you talk about what you're doing in center school today? Um, and, uh, did you go here? I did. My parents went here, and I went here and my siblings. So I graduated, I was here in 1970. That tells you how old I am. And uh, what's it like seeing the school today? It's, um, it's awesome be nice to see that it's made into something that everybody from the town can enjoy. Hi, yes, I have um, a portrait of Center School that I've hand drawn. I made digital copies of to sell here today. Um, yeah. Terrific, and uh, how long did it take you to draw it? Um, uh, five or six hours is typically what it takes me. Yep. yep, I do all of the drawings for the um, home tour in town. So these are all the house portraits that I've done as well. It was a pitch perfect day on the Hopkinton Town Common for the 44th annual Poly Arts Festival. HCAM News caught up with some of the vendors. I'm representing part of Friends of Hopkinton. We are selling our stadium blankets for $25 and then some commemorative coins and some postcards and the blankets are a great deal and they keep you warm as I know so we sold a couple and, and the rest of the time we're going to be headed from here and we're going up to the festivities for tonight. Right, and what are the proceeds for the blankets going towards? The blankets go for the Friends of Hopkinton so we can have family day. Can you talk about what you got going on here? Uh, basically, I'm a knife maker, for lack, for lack of a better description. Uh, essentially, I, for the most part, in my case, I buy blades and I make the handles out of exotic woods, uh, acrylics, anything that strikes me interesting, anything that has an interesting look to it. Uh, I do mostly kitchen knives. I find, some, I find some better market for that. 
and then also in the past year I've started doing a lot of more wood turning so I've been making bowls boxes again out of whatever kind of exotic wood I can find and uh, how long have you been doing that for? Uh, the, the bowls and boxes I've been doing for probably about two years now the knives I'm working on probably eight years Rise up this morning. 